So now I've got my battery pack and I could power all sorts of things with this. Maybe a little drone or charge a phone with it, power some LED lights. So what I've been thinking about next is how I could actually charge this off grid. Obviously I can plug a USB cable into there which is all good but one thing I've been thinking about is these computer fans this is a 12 volt fan these are found in computers you can pull them out of computers these fans take 12 volts of DC power and then they spin but it's pretty easy to turn these into a generator so that's what I'm gonna do now so to do that take these stickers off and you'll find a little clip inside here you can open the clip and prize this, the fan off of here. The circuit board inside these fans will have various components on it that, that the fan uses but we don't need that we're going to bypass those completely. We can unsolder these wires we want these actually attached to a different place. There's two coils of wire but they're actually connected to each other so to get the maximum power out of this fan using it as a generator we want to find the longest wire connection so the easiest way to do that is with a multimeter looking at the resistance of the wires. So if you measure between these points you can figure out which two points have the longest length of wire between them because they'll have the highest resistance. So those are the two that we want to solder to. So I'm going to solder two wires to those, those two points and that's it. Then we can reassemble the fan and that's all we need to do. Now if we spin this it will generate current. One thing to note is that this is going to generate AC current. In other words the current is going to fluctuate between positive and negative and that's no good for charging our battery. We're going to need DC current. So to do that we're going to build a full bridge rectifier and I'll show you how that works. The fan generator is going to produce AC current. What that means is that the current flow alternates. So if, if, this, is, if this is the circuit, the current will be flowing this way and then it will alternate and the current will be flowing this way. And that will happen constantly. Current will be flowing one way around the circuit, then the other way around the circuit and alternating. That's often drawn like this. This is a graph that represents alternating current. Now if we build a full bridge rectifier which is basically a circuit with diodes which are electrical components that let the current only flow one way we can make this current actually do turn into this. It will do this so it will basically when it's flowing the opposite way it will actually flip that round to be flowing this way. And then we can use a capacitor to smooth out these, these uh, bumps. So after a capacitor, it will look more like this. So that's what we're going for. So first, I built a full bridge rectifier on a breadboard like this. So these, this is the positive and negative inputs and it goes through these these are the two outputs and this will be d going through DC this is a capacitor here so this is an AC current input and then this rail up here is a DC current output um, yeah not going to explain full bridge rectifiers any more than that but search for them there's plenty of other videos about how full bridge rectifiers work. So connecting up the fan generator through this circuit we can see that spinning the fan produces a bit of current. Now what I want to prove is that if we spin the fan fast enough we can actually generate 5 volts from it. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a second fan like a normal fan that's not converted to a generator right next to it, taping it right next to it and then connecting that to a power supply so I can blow one fan into the other fan to make it spin and see if, sp if we can spin it fast enough to get 5 volts out of it. I'll turn the power supply on to that's going to this fan and I'll turn the voltage up. Okay that's spinning now 
and it's not going fast enough to spin that up yet. Okay, now both fans are spinning. And we can easily get enough voltage to do it. This proves that it's possible to spin it fast enough to get the voltage to charge the battery. So that's the result. So to tidy this up a bit, I'm going to put this full bridge rectifier onto a little circuit board, take it off the breadboard and put it onto something a little bit tidier. So I'm just soldering the components on here and this is what I've ended up with. So I can plug the fan into here, that's the full bridge rectifier, so that will rectify the current into DC current. This capacitor will smooth the voltage and then these, are, these here are just something I can connect a voltmeter to to see what kind of output we're getting and then I've put a USB connection on there just as a simple connection to be able to get the get the power out of so so far so good now I've got a mini generator you spin the fan and you get a DC voltage out in the next video I'm going to experiment with a few ways to spin the generator and find out whether it's suitable for charging the power banks we made in the last video Subscribe if you want to follow along. Cheers.